So your boss has asked you to create a CSS progress indicator, and they've asked it to be stripey. And you're like, uh, okay, sure, no worries. So how do we go about that? Well, as always, we have our index.html and our styles.css, and in here, inside the body, we have a single div with class stripes. Yes, so that's right, we're gonna do this all in a single div, which is pretty cool. So over in our styles, we have our default body styling, which just makes sure make sure everything we draw goes in the middle of the screen. And now we're just going to target our stripes div, and we're going to build up a bit of a rectangle. I'm going to go 90, uh, 95, 85% width and a height of 100 pixels, and I'm just going to set a border of 2 pixels solid navy, just so we can see our container. Cool. So the boss ordered Stripey, and we're going to deliver Stripey, but how do you do that? Well, fortunately for us, there exists such a thing called repeating linear gradient, and that's exactly what we're going to use. So you set that up using a background image, and as we start typing, there's repeating linear gradient, easy peasy. Now I'm going to do this over multiple lines because there is just quite a few bits and bobs you need to add in here. And the first one of those bits and bobs is a angle, an angle. And I'm going to set it to 90 degrees for now, because it just helps to explain how things go. And the rest of them are going to be the colors. And I'm just going to type these in, and I'll come back and explain how they work. So navy 0 pixels, navy 10 pixels, aqua 10 pixels, and aqua 20 pixels. Now when I save, Nothing happens because I did forgot to write pixels, but when I do it correctly, woo, we have stripes. So what's going on here? Brilliant. So angle first sets the angle of the stripes. Pretty straightforward. Now this first line, navy zero pixels, means start at this left side and at zero you should be navy. Cool. Navy 10 pixels. That means 10 pixels along, you should still be navy. So we're going 0 pixel, 1 pixel, 2 pixels, da, 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 still navy. Then aqua 10 pixels. That means do a hard transition to uh, aqua on that 10 pixel mark. That's why you don't get this gradient or fade. It's just bang, straight to aqua. And then it says continue to be uh, aqua at 20 pixels. So that 20 pixels is still from this left edge. So it's that's 10 pixels, that's 20 pixels. So we go zero pixels to 10 pixels is navy, 10 pixels to 20 pixels, that's aqua. And then because it's a repeating linear gradient, it just repeats that pattern over and over and over and over and over again. So this, this does the stripey part, but uh, doesn't quite do the progress indicator part. So I'm going to change the angle to 135 degrees. Awesome. We have a bit of a slanty, uh, slanty stripey pattern now. Uh, what I'm going to do is set up an animation now. I'm going to call keyframes progress. Uh, with a double S. And it's going to be a pretty straightforward one. We're just going to go from background, mm, helps when I spell things correctly, background size 0%, 100%. I'm just going to copy this. And then we're going to go to 100%. Uh, now, what to the background size does is because this is a background image, uh, you can control how much of this container we fill with the background. So we're saying start, uh, so this is the X, uh, X size and the Y size. Now we always want the Y to be 100%, 100% so we're always filling up the vertical. Uh, what we are saying is start at 0% and then go all the way over to 100%. So this is going to fill up with the stripes. So if we do animation and we do progress, the name of animation, we five seconds and we'll go infinite and linear. Whoa, what's going on here? I mean, that, that looks pretty cool, but that is not exactly what we want. I could, whoa, that is trippy. What's happening here is the background is trying to fill itself out inside the container. Uh, what we need to do is set a background repeat, no repeat, and it'll stop doing that. And from now on, you can see we have a progress indicator that is certainly stripey and done in a single div using CSS, just like the boss ordered. So hope that explains things and we'll see you next time.